guy and his luck is a luck. Hey guys, so as I uh, am putting this lock back together, I wanted to say a few things. So it's been a couple years since I have posted some videos, except for the one I did last week. Um, I've had a lot going on in my life, and I will um, explain more about it in, in future videos as they come, but a uh, big part of it was that my uh, grandfather passed away, as well as I moved away from where I was living, so there's some pretty big changes in my life. Um, when I was still living where I was living before, um, I was working on this lock before, you know, I stopped making videos, before I uh, took my big break. Um, this was the lock that I was last working on, and I got to the point where I had learnt the whole sidebar. I managed to progressive pin the whole sidebar to the point where I had it fully picked. And I, I felt pretty confident that I was about to get it. Um, and I, I probably was pretty close, but I didn't progressive pin the top pins. Um, and I just assumed that I'd be able to get the barrels because I figured I could pick barrel spools pretty well by that point. But I was pretty wrong because this lock was, like I said, unlike any barrels I've ever, you know, encountered before. So. Um, I started going through all the stuff I was going through, you know, moving and family stuff and everything. Um, and, uh, I just basically just put this all in a bag and I didn't have the motivation also because of, uh, you know, things that were, I, I've had a falling out with a couple people in the community and it just, all, all the motivation kind of left me. You know, so I just, I put it all in a bag and didn't touch it. <laughs> and uh, slowly, slowly, I was always active in the community. Also, I'm a locksmith, as many of you know. So I uh, was working on my career and, and learning the field, learning the industry, learning what it's like to actually work in real life situations. Um, so I had a lot of, you know, I figured it's good for me to focus my energy on those, on that. You know, and then as also, I'm also going to school as well for that, so it ha it wasn't my priority to get back into videos, um, and to be totally honest, it still isn't my main priority. But I think I can manage it now, where I can, uh, I I can keep up with it to some degree. And I had been picking other locks on the side, you know, first of all for work. Um, but those are very basic, but just even hobby sake, I'd always pick up a lock here and there, even difficult locks and continuously work on them. Um, and uh, I even managed to pick a couple more black belt level locks, which I will make some videos on in the near future. But uh, for now, I figured this one is, is my kind of a milestone lock for me right now because it was the one that I, I stopped on and now I can, like I figured it was like a, a way, it's, it's a symbol for me that I, I finished this lock, I actually picked it, I got everything done, I, I'm picking up back where I left off, you know, it's more than just the lock, it's about where I was in my life and trying to get back to doing videos and being more excited about lock sport and all of that, getting out of the the negative mindset that I had to deal with with all my family drama and all of that stuff. So yeah, that's that's why this one was so special for me. And then uh, I wasn't sure even what level rank it was. Like I knew it was a black belt level lock, but finally I learned to pick it. And then I go to look at the belt level rank for it Turns out it's a black belt level three lock, which is harder than any lock that I've picked so far, according to the belt level, the belt ranking system. So that was pretty exciting. Um, I didn't really uh, expect that. I thought maybe it's like a black belt level one, black belt level two, and then as I'm, you know, it's pretty difficult to pick. So I was thinking, you know, probably not a black belt level one, but I've never picked a black belt level three, so I, I really didn't have that good reference point to know um, what 
it a black belt level three lock feels like it's just this one was tricky but to be honest i've had other locks that took me longer to learn that being said this lock when i picked up back where i left off i already had this tool made you know i, I made this tool back when i i stopped uh, making videos back a couple years ago so i wasn't um like I didn't have to, I started already halfway knowing the lock. Even though it was a couple of years, I still somehow retained all that information and didn't have very much trouble at all picking the lock. Um, well, to be totally fair, the barrel spools gave me a lot of trouble. Um, that by far is the hardest part of the lock for me. Um, the sidebar, if you know what the key is and you know what the bidding of the key and everything, that's not nearly as difficult. Um, that being said, if you don't know the key, and you don't know the bidding, you need a very special tool to be able to pick it. I think um, Captain Hook number one designed um, like a, a not like a, it's not a flag, but it's more like a like a cup that will grab onto each one, and then you can do a jiggle test since they're unsprung sliders you need to be able to jiggle test them without the spring. So you need to not just be able to push them up, but you need to pull them down as well. And with this pick, it only pushes up. So if I overlift something, it's very difficult. All I have to do is push it back down. Um, it is probably possible to blind pick one of these locks with, with this tool, but it'd be very difficult. I think I'd be better off designing um, or, or making my own version of or, or trying to copy the same design as what Captain Hook number one did with his. Um, but that being said, I, I haven't worked on too many of these, and the next challenge would be to work on one of these without really practicing the sidebar as much, um, and just seeing if I can just feel the, the maybe progressive pin it where I take out all the top pins and leave in the side pins without progressive pinning the side pins and just leave maybe one barrel spool or something. Um, by the way, when putting this back in, just so you guys can see, there's a, the sidebar um, has, a, I can get it to focus, the sidebar fence is lower on one side than the other, so the lower side goes on the bottom. Um, bottom being the North American version of the bottom or if you're looking at the keyway like this it goes um, the lower side of the fence goes facing down so yeah maybe I'll uh, I'll test this out a little bit more and see if I can get that um, this pig to work as I learn more of these locks but that's that's my little spiel on getting back into lock sport and the significance of this lock to me as we complete the final stages of getting this guy back together. Oh, I was gonna wonder if I was gonna drop this screw here, but I ended up dropping the other screw. Anyways. Oh, wrong threading. I need to which there we go it's cross-threaded and reassembled all right thanks for uh listening to me ramble take care guys